So thanks for talking to us, Louis. First, I wanted to start with the draw with Melbourne Knights. What do you take away from that game? Um, we'll take away the point, obviously. Um, look, decent performance, good performance by the boys, especially first half. We created four good opportunities uh, to score goals. Unfortunately, we didn't take our chances. Um, second half, uh, we started well again the first 10 minutes. Had a couple opportunities then again uh, in that first 10 minutes, and then Melbourne Knights um, had their own chance, probably two, three good opportunities as well after that. Um, entertain, entertaining game for everybody. Uh, the positive for me is that we, we are creating opportunities. Uh, you know, the negative is um, we, we need to obviously convert them into goals. You know, um, that's what's hurting us at the moment, uh, and that's what we're working on the training park at the moment. Yeah, yeah, so that's what you're working on leading into the game against Huddleball United, talking about making those opportunities. Is there anything else that you're working on coming to this game? No, look, um, you know, first session back was all about finishing, um, in the attacking third. Uh, tonight we did our conditioning session, um, also uh, just preparing for, like I said, Heidelberg this week. Um, we're trying to give away too many secrets and what we're going to do against Heidelberg. But look, most important is that we stick to our game plan and... Uh, a bit of self-belief. I keep talking about the self-belief and um, hopefully the boys, uh, you know, it, it works out and comes through on Saturday. And uh, more broadly, uh, you announced this week that you signed two new signings to the club, uh, Theo Markless and Paul Harvey. Uh, what are they going to bring to the club? What are their, the skills that you're hoping they'll bring? Yeah, look, they're both uh, attacking footballers. Paul Harvey's a, a striker, an out and out number nine that, you know, uh, loves to hold the ball up, you know, get on the end of crosses, uh, score goals. Yeah. Uh, he loves doing that. So, Theo Markellis will bring us another attacking option up front, uh, not just in number nine role, but as number ten, number seven, number eleven in the wings. Um, both quality footballers and good people. So, you know, we're, we're excited that we've got them on board, and uh, hopefully they can play their part next week when they're ready. And uh, we're almost reaching the, the midpoint of the season. Uh, over the first half, what have you been impressed by or disappointed in, and what are you hoping to see for the, the rest of the season? Look, again, uh, it goes back to the opportunities and the football we're playing. Uh, we're playing some good attacking football. Uh, you know, I think it was the first four or five games we scored a fair few goals and uh, unfortunately it's dried out since then a little bit. Uh, but defensively we're doing really well the last five games. I think we've only considered two goals or something like that, which is great. Uh, we are keeping clean sheets. Uh, it's been a decent start. If we took, you know, some a bit more of our chances, uh, probably would be probably a couple of positions higher as well. Uh, but no, look, we're, we're looking forward to the last two games of round one and obviously the next uh, second half of the season as well. Thanks a lot, Louis. Thanks. Thanks.